welcome to Happy Grillmore. Um, we are located on Southwest Stark between 2nd and 3rd, right next to Mother's Bistro. Um, open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So yes, we are open for breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Wyatt. Nice to meet you. Chrissy. Nice to meet you. Nice. How long have you guys had this car? We've only been open for maybe a little over two months. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're new. Brand new. Yeah. What made you guys want to start a food cart? Um, we just, uh, we really like cooking. Uh-huh. Um, her cooking is really good. Yeah? So <laughs> Can't wait to try? I don't know. It just seemed, um, it seemed like a good thing. Yeah. Um, Totally, it's actually yeah. a lot of work, but we yeah. didn't realize that until we started. But it, it's worth it. It's, it's paying off. Good. There's a lot of good food in Portland, and we thought we could uh, assist and bring us Yeah, some make it happen. Stuff. And before we started the food cart, we were always out all the food carts to eat uh -huh. too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What made you name it Happy Grill More? Um, we kind of, <laughs> we were just in the kitchen, like uh -huh. cooking, and we were just like thinking of different names. For yeah. Cart. Trying to get like something that kind of represented us, and we really like Adam Sandler movies. Uh -huh. um, so we were just like, I don't know. I was just, we actually got, I got inspired by Starch, Starchy and Husk. Uh -huh. Their name is like pretty catchy. Right. A lot of the food car names were catchy, so I was like, we have to come up with something. Yeah, catchy. it's good and to I was have just a, kinda, a gimmick. Just kind of saying stuff, and I was like, Happy Grill More, and she just started laughing. And I was like, <laughs> That's it. Happy um, do you want to tell me a bit about the food? Like what? what you feel is the most popular or what your favorite thing to cook is or obviously I'm very drawn to the name the chubs. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, our chubs is a third pound Angus beef patty and um, let's see, he's more of the meat guy so uh -huh. he, he does the, you know. Well I hand, I hand make the patties, right. um, we get the Angus beef and then um, I season it with a little bit of uh, Chili flakes and some black pepper yep. and a little bit of and other things. Sauce. Yeah, <laughs> some other secret ingredients, so just a little bit. Yeah. And then, um, I just, um, you know, make them by hand, and then uh, we fry them up in a pan, um, no oil, just, uh, just a dry pan. Uh -huh. um, and then we have different kinds of cheese you can choose from. Uh, we're big fans of Tillamook cheese, so we use uh, cheddar um, and pepper jack, or uh -huh. we have Favardi also. Nice. Um, and then. Um, our, I think our uh, most popular is the chuck, um, and that's our turkey and havarti. Um, and we yeah. we make a, an apple apple with smoked apple bacon and havarti. Um, yeah. And then we house make a red pepper like aioli. It's, a, it's red pepper mayo with some spices and stuff in there. It's a little spicy, but not not too much. Nice. And that goes pretty much on every sandwich. Yeah. So it's really good. It sounds that's good. his thing too. Yeah. <laughs> So, about them. All our drinks are handmade, so, and you know, all real lemons, real limes, rosemary, whatever berries, or like today I did a, a watermelon limeade. which is some Portuguese sausage, which is linguiça, a fried egg, and some rice. And this one, I have to say, is near and dear to my heart because my grandma, I'm half Portuguese, um, and my grandma and my mom, actually, would totally make this for breakfast for me when I was a kid. Um, and I mean, probably now, too. Um, but I feel like it's extra special to me because my grandma passed away last year, and I'm just kind of like, oh, it's grandma in a little to-go box. 
Um, which maybe sounds a little weird, but yeah, it just, it looks perfect. I'm very excited about the fact that they put fresh ground pepper on the egg. I love some fresh ground pepper. Like what a nice little detail. All right, first bite. go wrong with linguisa I feel like so good I feel like for me the egg is a little bit cooked it's cooked a little bit more than I would like because I really like a runny yolk but I know that's not everyone's preference but look at this right here so good just the creaminess of the egg and then the rice seriously this is my childhood on a fork I just need some like sweet bread some Portuguese sweet bread to go with it This is the Chubbs. I mean, how can I not order it? Who like doesn't love a cart with the name of Chubbs? Underneath all of this loveliness is some Havarti cheese and a third pound of Angus beef that they, as you heard, made themselves. All right, hit it, Chubbs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to find a cart with a pork chop. Um, yeah. Anyways, so the Chubbs. The Chubbs is eating the Chubbs. So excited. Wow, listen to that crunch. Mm. Damn. That is some good beef. Mm. I can't talk about it yet, I just need to eat another bite. Damn. So, wow. All right. So the bread, I feel like, is perfectly grilled. It has a nice crunch to it. And then that meat, fuck, it's so moist. Like, I don't know how many times you get burgers and they're just real dry and not delicious, but damn, that is a good fucking patty. I don't know what the secret spices are in there, but so good. And then the aioli that they make there, why can't I say anything bad about this place? Not that I ever want to talk bad about a place, you know, if it's good, but I feel lucky to put all this goodness in my mouth. Mm. Um, so after talking with the owners, I was telling them that I'd never had Spam before, which at least I don't remember ever having Spam. So they were telling me that I had to, I had to try this. So there's some Spam and some rice in here um, with some homemade teriyaki sauce. And- I think there's wasabi in there too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. We'll find out. I am delighted to try something new in my virgin mouth on camera. <laughs> Drum roll. <Ta> -da! <laughs> uh, love my life. All right. I definitely taste the nori roll, which I like. Um, and then the rice and the teriyaki sauce are really delicious. The Spam, honestly, is really well fried. Um, but I can't really tell you about like what Spam reminds me of. It's kind of a mystery. It just tastes like fried meat. I don't know. I don't really know what I was expecting for fried meat. This is definitely good and like one of those things that I feel like you need to try if you go there. Because um, it's totally different and not anything that I've ever put in my mouth before. Hmm. It's a mystery. What is spam anyways? Maybe I shouldn't ask that. Maybe I don't want to know. 